Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Yonks. Today, I'll be showing you Bane of the Taken. This is the Queen's Machine Gun. I got this from the Elder's Weapons Package after achieving the high score in the Challenge of Elders. And I got the Machine Gun, guys, so let's quickly go over what perks I got on this thing. So, for the sights, I just run the Soft Ballistics here. All right, moving on to Underdog. This weapon gains a boost to range and handling when health is low. Eh, moving on to the middle perks, we have skip rounds, injection mold, increased stability, faster handling, reduced range, and reinforced barrel, increased range, reduced stability. So, I go with injection mold just because I really, really like stability on my weapons, guys. And persistence, the last perk, this weapon grows more accurate the longer it is fired. I guess that's an okay perk. Um, so not the greatest perks on this machine gun. Anyway, guys, before we get into it, I do want to mention this is a very high impact machine gun with a very low rate of fire, even higher impact than the Quillum's Terminus. Anyway, guys, let's take a look at the aesthetics. All right, looks pretty cool, guys. Let, let's just get right into the gameplay. So Bane of the Taken versus the Ultra Knight for the DPS test. It took me one and a half max to put him down, each headshot dealing 976 damage. And it took the same exact time as the weapon I covered yesterday, the IS Luna, 11 and a half seconds to put him down. And that is mainly because of the very slow reload on this thing and the low amount of bullets in the mag which is 23 anyway guys we're moving right into pvp now bane of the taken will deal 74 damage to the head and 60 damage to the body but guys this does depend on what range you're at if you're too far away you will not get these numbers so it'll take three shots to put your enemy down if all your shots are headshots or it'll take four shots to put somebody down if all your shots are body shots and what is the time to kill on bane of the taken well, if you land all three of your headshots, it'll take 0.433 seconds, guys. Under a half a second. Pretty damn good. This thing is a monster. And despite the low fire rate on this thing, you could put somebody down very, very quickly because it certainly compromises with high impact. Anyway, guys, when using Bane of the Taken in the Crucible, I found myself being very, very careful with landing my shots. I didn't want to waste any bullets because it has a very low max size of 23, like I mentioned earlier. So you really want to make your shots count because you will find yourself running out of ammo or reloading very quickly with this machine gun and you do not want to reload while in a battle with this thing. It takes almost five full seconds to reload. And by the way, it does take the same amount of time to shoot all 23 shots with this machine gun as it is to reload this machine gun. So, if you guys are planning on running Bane of the Taken in the Crucible, make sure you have some machine gun ammo armor on, because if you don't, you will only get that one full mag of 23 shots to your disposal, and that won't last you very long. That's why I was saying I had to really make sure all my shots counted. And for that reason, I do not think this is the ideal machine gun to run with in PvP, just because there is not much room to mess around with when it comes to your bullets, guys. Anyway, leave in the comments and let me know, do you guys have Bane of the Taken already? If not, are you looking forward to getting this from the Elder's Weapons Package? Let me know, guys. Overall, I did have fun with Bane of the Taken, and I do think it is a strong, reliable machine gun, and you do get your bang for your buck with this thing that is for sure but there's just not enough bucks to bang with does that make sense did i make it weird i don't know guys but that's really it thank you so much for watching please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video and go ahead and leave a sub if you haven't already if you want to see more weapon reviews similar to this one i'm always covering weapons here in destiny anyway guys i will see you next time